I'm Shayna with The Wealth Vibe, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth, and I am back. So let's jump right into it. So I have a lot of things that have happened over the last year or so. I don't know how long it's been, but it's been a little minute. But a lot of things have happened. And I'll get into the juiciest news of them all in just a second. But let me start with just work. So in terms of work, still work for Amazon. Everything is going well. Um, I actually got moved into a new role on the same team, but in a new role. But it's been amazing because it gives me a lot of visibility and I've been getting a lot of compliments about my work. So I'm really excited about that. With work, you know, I'm still bringing a lot of income, being able to, um, you know, save and invest and, and everything and meet my financial goals. Speaking of which, I'll be doing a video right after this one about my Q3 net worth update. So check out that when it's released. I know that for Q2, I uploaded a video, but then I took it down and I never put it back up. So I'm probably going to try to um, put that one back up just so that there's some continuity and some context given. But I'm excited to see where my net worth is. I kind of already know where it is because I check my Fidelity account all the time. But that's only like a slice of my financial picture. So I'm excited to get into that video and update you all about where my finances are. But I'm really excited about that. And I guess we'll just jump into the big, big news. I'm engaged, and I won't put a lot of emphasis on my ring right here, but I'm gonna put a couple of pictures from the engagement so that she can check that out. But we've been engaged, Mike and I have been engaged since August 13th, I think it was. So we went to DC, for his birthday and then he proposed two days after his birthday and um i said yes obviously because i got the ring <laughs> but um so we've been engaged now i guess going on two months and we are planning the wedding we already have a date so we're getting married march 12th 2022 and we are getting married in jamaica and we already have our venue selected. I kind of essentially as soon as we got engaged, like I think I took a couple of days off and then hop right into wedding planning because I always knew, and we had already discussed this before, that we wouldn't have a long engagement. So I had anticipated getting, in mar getting married in January, but all the dates were booked up in January for the hotel we were interested in. And so then we were looking into February, um, February 12th. But then when I got connected with a travel agent who is gonna help with like the guest accommodations and everything, she was looking at the inventory and she was like, you know, that's actually one of the most popular weekends for travel, especially in Jamaica. And so they don't have a lot of inventory. So you could definitely have your wedding, which it was our really like, had it reserved for that date. But she was like, you can have the wedding then, but I don't know if your guests are gonna be able to stay there, especially since the hotel requires them to stay there in order for them to attend the wedding. Cause she was like, there's just not enough inventory. And so um, we looked into additional dates and then we finally settled on March 12th because um, the dates were, the date was available and then also they had more inventory available so we're getting married march 12th um in jamaica and we're super excited about it i decided to go this route we both discussed what routes we would go with getting married um we talked about like doing a courthouse situation which I would say I was serious about, but low key not serious about at the same time. But with the fact that we're gonna have a destination wedding, you still have to do a courthouse, or you can you can do any type of wedding really. But we're doing a symbolic wedding technically in Jamaica, and so um, in order for it to be legal, you have to do that, be, you know, in the United States or wherever 
and make that legal through the courthouse or you know with your pastor or whoever but you still have to make legal a legal filing essentially for your marriage so at the end of the day we still are going to end up doing a courthouse type of wedding because it's required um but the actual day that we will celebrate and everything will be march 12th which will be on our symbolic wedding day which will be in jamaica um, but yeah we discuss courthouse or destination weddings and when it came down to it i just was like i kind of want to do a wedding my initial hope was that we would be getting married during the pandemic really to reduce costs because costs meaning you know the number of guests we would be able to reduce the number of guests because the more guests you have the more money you spend so if we were to do it during the pandemic then we would spend less money and so um we're still technically in the pandemic but my thought was you know when we it became real that we were engaged i was like you know what i actually do kind of do a, a wedding for real for real <laughs> and so the courthouse kind of went to the back of my mind and I started to think of destination and the hotel that we're doing it at, um, they really provide a whole lot. Um, one of my friends from college, he's actually getting married as well next year in Jamaica. Um, and we were comparing our hotels, not really, but we were just kind of talking through like the wedding planning process. And she was like, girl, I should have went with your hotel because it comes with so much. So I'm really excited um, that they're going to really handle a lot of it and really the only additional cost will come in with the more guests that we have because our wedding package covers 20 guests and the hotel can accept up to, set, up to 70. So um, with more people, so every person over 20, then we have to spend a little bit more money. But we don't really know where we're going to actually land with that. We sent out invitations already um we sent out some virtual ones and some paper ones and right now we have about 30 guests rsvp but our rsvp date um shuts off november 15th so we got a little bit more time before we understand the final guest count and understand how much we're really going to spend but in general we don't want to spend more than fifteen thousand on the wedding and i think that will be pretty doable so we've done a lot so far um well let me just be real i've done a lot so far <laughs> he has not done a lot he's actually um out right now looking for something to wear for our engagement shoot so we're actually doing our engagement shoot in a couple of weeks we were supposed to do it a couple weeks before today actually last weekend i think it was scheduled for initially but mike didn't look for anything to wear so we rescheduled <laughs> uh, and it turns out that my dress is on back order and so it won't be here until october 14th anyway so it worked out that we changed the date and actually my hair i'm actually trying to um i did it today in an attempt to see if i wanted to wear my hair like this and if i wanted to do it myself um but this is what i'm thinking so far for my engagement shoe hair but um that's gonna be at the end of october and he's looking for clothes for that um but he hasn't looked for anything else no like tuxedo shoes or anything for the actual wedding but i already have a dress i already we already look for a, a wedding band for myself um i, I know a lot <laughs> when it comes to my side his side's a little iffy um hopefully he plans to actually get married now <laughs> i know he does but um he needs to do a little bit in terms of his getting together um his self for the wedding but i'm really excited about that so we're getting we're getting married i guess um at this point in like four and a half months or five months from now so super excited about that and um yeah, we're just planning our our lives together. Another important thing that I wanted to talk to you all about um, that will really have an impact on our finances um, is related to us potentially moving out of Atlanta. I've never really been a big fan of Atlanta. As you know, I moved here to Atlanta to work at the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control. And I no longer work there. I work at Amazon, Amazon right now and I work from home and i really have the potential to be able to work wherever i want to and he does as well 
So uh, another piece of the story is that Mike's job was also remote, remote because of the pandemic. And then the, he had talked to them about potentially being um, remote for another couple of years because everyone at the company that does his role was already remote, except for at his location. And so, which meant him, he was the only one <laughs> in that role throughout the entire company that was not remote prior to the pandemic. And so they actually changed his role and wanted him to come in, but thankfully he was able to get a promotion and get a job that was doing the same thing, um, the same type of job, but obviously um, he's now a manager and he is able to work from home um, permanently. So I've never really liked Atlanta. He actually loves Atlanta to a, an extent. He thinks there's too much traffic. He loves that, you know, the ratio of black folks here is, you know, greater. And, you know, there's certain things that he loves about the city, but he actually prefers Columbus, Georgia, where he was living before. Um, I don't know if I ever filled y'all in, but yeah, he moved in here. <laughs> he moved in with me in March. And so, um, yeah, he actually prefers Columbus a little bit better than Atlanta. Um, but I never been a fan. <laughs> it's just landlocked. You know, I'm a Miami girl, so I need, I need some water. I need somewhere with water. So we're actually going to check out some places in Florida um, next month to see if we want to live there. We actually talked this morning about potentially like doing an Airbnb situation or renting for a couple months to get our bearings on exactly where we want to live, but we're exploring moving out of Atlanta. And um, also as we prepare to get married, we've just been having a lot of talks about finances. We actually did like a joint budget. Really the purpose of that was one, to figure out um, how we would jointly meet our goals for early retirement. He wants to retire a little sooner than I do. He, if he wanted, if he could, he would retire this year. And I, I'm not gonna lie, I would too if I could. But I don't mind. I really like the job that I'm doing, and I have a lot more income potential in my role. And so I know if I just hold out for another um, three to how many? Three to six years, I will be in a really, really good position with my job being able to bring in a lot more income and so i'm okay with working an additional three to six years but at the end of the day i want to be retired by 40. he wants to be retired too as soon as possible so we needed to sit down and figure out how much we would be investing on a paycheck or monthly basis in order to meet our goals and then secondly we wanted to figure out how much money we could afford to spend on a mortgage so that way we could figure out exactly which areas we could actually afford to live in. Ideally, I would love to live back in South Florida, but um, Mike, he just thinks that there's a lot of traffic for some reason, which I'm not gonna doubt that there's traffic, but I just feel like it's just different than Atlanta traffic because of Miami and Broward County are all on a grid system so the flow of traffic is a lot more manageable than here in atlanta where there is no grid and you only got one major highway <laughs> going north and south and so it makes it a little um diff difficult to bypass traffic here but i guess he's just equating big city that it automatically means that there's traffic and i don't think that's the case so we're trying to find essentially something that's close to a city, but gives him that Columbus, Georgia feel and that it's kind of suburby and also um, doesn't have a lot of traffic. So I have my eye on a couple of places because you know I've lived a few different places throughout Florida, so I have a good idea of it. So we're gonna actually go check that out um, next. Actually, I'm talking about next month, that's this month. We in October already. <laughs> We're going in the in towards the end of October to Florida to go check out houses and decide as well um, whether or not we want to do like a new build situation and um, just figure out what we're gonna do as a married couple in 2022. As far as um, 
I don't know if y'all have this question, but I'm just trying to think of like questions that y'all might have. You know that Mike is a real estate investor in addition to his um, day job as an engineer. And so he'll still have the properties. We're actually thinking about um, doing some Airbnb arbitrage to where we rent at now because uh, we live in a gated community very close to the airport and a few of the homes here are actually do Airbnb. And from what we can see, they are rented out pretty frequently. And there's also a new community being built like within five minutes walking distance. And we actually already are pre-approved. Well, actually he is, he's the one that's gonna be on that loan. Um, Cause we're trying to also be strategic. So, you know, I've never purchased the house before. So I'm gonna probably purchase our home, our family home, and then he's going to purchase um, the, the rental or really the Airbnb that we're thinking about buying down the street um, just because we don't want to, I guess, mess up our chances of get, getting the house by doing too much on, each, uh, you know, doing it jointly. So we're trying to be strategic and, you know, figure out who should be on what and, you know, and the timing of everything as well. So um, he'll still, you know, keep his rentals and we're actually going to probably do rental um, or Airbnb arbitrage here and then get another Airbnb down the street as well. So that's really the update of what's been going on in my life. And let me know what kind of content you are interested in. I'm sure you want some wedding content. I already got a couple of requests for that on Instagram for the people that follow me on Instagram. They have requested that. Um, I'm going to think through what kind of videos we should be doing, but feel free to um, suggest them down in the comment section and um, I'll be coming out with my network video because I'm about to record it next. So uh, stay tuned and watch that and I'll see you next time.